Hi guys, fan cams next on is James. Uh, James, what can you make of tonight's game? Uh, overall, I think a good point, a good performance, I'd say. Maybe could have come away with three. I don't think we can be too harsh on lads saying we should have had three, can we? Or do you think maybe we, we should have come away with three? I thought I thought we should have come around where we were three points, but I thought um I thought Palmer had a good game. Yeah. I thought Britain played well and he played. I thought Samoa's looked really good. Yeah. Um, I thought Palmer's positional play was brilliant. Mm. Um and he showed in some good tackles, played some good balls in as well. Um I think the problem for us was like at key moments we've given away two goals. Yeah. I mean it was the same against Bristol as well. And I think that's something we've got to learn from. Because mm. obviously in this league you're gonna get punished. But yeah. I thought we played really well overall in general and um, we looked much more of a threat but I think it's just them key moments where we've got to learn. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it is. It's, it's almost like them, those individual errors that are, that are costing us at, at the minute because like a lot of the lads have said as well that they're, they're almost seeing it start to cut, slowly coming together if you get what I mean whereas the, the performances we look a lot better but then again one, in, one thing happens and then like team almost crumbles but uh, the sending off I mean it were a big big moment in the game I mean we took us goals really well both goals were very good goals tonight and uh, and from open play as well which are two from open play in the same night freeze are off the mark as well um, but the red card were a big turning point in the game and I think that's where maybe we thought maybe we can push on here and we just couldn't seem to break Stoke down yeah I agree I agree I can't argue with that mm. um I think I think it's just key moments again. I thought mm. I thought Merritt had a good game today. I thought yeah. he plays, I thought the goal to Freezer was superb. It was mm. a good um, good decision making and um I mean in other games it's not been great all season but today I was really on it. Um but I think Palmer's gonna be a cracking player in the future and um yeah. We've we've got a talent there, so yeah, he look he does look good. I mean, I mean, weird weird seeing him start. To be fair, like Bristol on Saturday, weird seeing him start there. I was like, how come Palmer's starting? But to be fair, he's justified his starts because yeah, I agree. He looked re really good, very nice and relaxed on the ball. You know, for such a young lad, thrown in, you could say at the deep end, he does look really really up for it. Um, but I think I think the performance performance overall were were good. Maybe I mean they could have won it in end really, couldn't they as well? They had some good chances. Definitely, definitely. Um, they, they, they could have scored at the end with Brown, but um, I thought well I thought Walton did well to save that one on one with um, Fletcher as well. Yeah. So I know, I know he made that mistake, but prior to that he's been brilliant. Mm. Um, but that one mistake probably cost us a match, but. Prior to that, he's been absolutely superb, but I think it's just key moments again. Yeah, it, it, it is almost that. It, it is almost that. Little errors that we just need to get out of his game. I mean, that first win, I've, I've said to other lads, that first win's got to come from somewhere. Uh, could it be Saturday now? Do you feel like, I mean, Millwall, we've got a good record at Millwall. Could it be Saturday against Millwall? You never know. You just have to see what happens. But um, I think it all depends on day. But I think um, Samoa's and um, Palmer definitely deserve another chance after today because mm. um, they, they really showed like they had some bits and quality going forward as well. Mm. Uh, what about? I mean, well, I mean, there's, there's Matty James on bench. Where, where does it, does he fit in at all? This, uh, I mean, it's an hard one, isn't it? Because yeah, yeah, I agree. Samoa's and Palmer have been very, very good. But then you've got Matty James. Who, who, who comes yeah. in? Who comes and who goes? It's it's an hard, it's an hard scenario, really. But also, would you say it's a good scenario to be in to have that many players to choose from? Definitely, because you need competition. Definitely, definitely yeah. need competition. I think it's good to have someone experienced around the younger players as well, because they've got someone they can learn from, which mm. is good. Yeah, yeah. There's that, and and obviously, hopefully, now the goals are starting to come. Woodrow today. What did you make of Callum Britton's debut? I thought it was really solid. Mm. I thought he did a lot of good positive things. It was good going forward. Um, made some good passes. Um, really good. Mm. And, and Woodrow as well looked look, look lively tonight as well. Uh, do you think, does he need that goal from open play? Do you think that goal from open play and then he'll start scoring? I mean, he did brilliant for that um, first goal of Simoes's turn their defender. Um but uh, as long as he's there, you know, putting in the work rate, you know, battles Barnsley fans, you know, one, if that work rate's yeah. there, we, we'll not, we'll not slate Definitely. him for anything. I think, I think Woodrow's better up top. I think mm. he, we've seen more of Woodrow since he's been starting up top. Like against Bristol, he looked a better player when he was mm. playing up front. But in midfield, because he's playing in a deeper role, 
I don't yeah. think he's effective. But when he's at top, I think he can do a lot more as a player. Mm. And I think obviously tonight and um, last week as well, I thought he looked really good. Mm. Yeah, uh, going into uh, Millwall then uh, on that performance. I mean, we, uh, it's starting to be a lot more confident going into the games now. I know we've drawn his last two yeah. against good teams as well. Do you know what I mean? So Definitely. confident going into Millwall Saturday, mate. Um, reasonably, um, reasonably <laughs> confident. Um, I don't want to get too carried away. Um, yeah. Obviously, I think we've got to cut out the errors. Yeah. And um, we've got to be switched on mentally. But if we if we start to play, if we start to play with the same energy, mm. we have done in the same games, and we just learn from mistakes. And I think we've got a good chance. But um, we've just got to be more focused for ninety minutes. Because mm. um, obviously, you can't make errors in this league. Otherwise, you're going to get punished. Yeah. And, and and ultimately that 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 error tonight could, yeah, you know that could have been three points. We could have been sat here now talking about a win, as first win. So yeah. you, you, you're hundred percent right what you said, mate. And you know it's that like, it's like the last two games as well. I mean, even against Bristol, like we could, we could have got rid of a ball a couple of times. Like, yeah. um, and I know both goals were lucky, but mm. we're in positions where we could have done better in our situations. And yeah. that's that's something we that's something we need to learn from. But um. I mean, the effort's there. The effort's today were very, very from the lads, and I can't fault that. Mm. Um, but I just, I just feel we need to learn from our decisions as, as well. But it, I thought we did. I thought we did well. Mm. Uh, just, just a bit gutted because I felt we could have won the game. Yeah, I think that's what everyone else is like. They're like, yeah, it's a good point. But on the other hand, we could have maybe got something from that. Yeah, I think everyone's almost in that same boat tonight. Uh, but we move on. Hopefully, it comes Definitely. against Millwall. So, all right then, James. Brilliant, mate. Thanks to speak Thank to you. you. Uh, nice to speak to you, and uh, hope you're doing well. And uh, yeah, hopefully, we get a win on Saturday for us all. So, let me know if you want to do a fan cam then, and uh, I'll, we'll 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 arrange it and stuff like that. So, just keep it. I'll keep in touch with you, obviously. Okay. Thank you. No worries, mate. Speak to you soon.